1,000-pound sisters Amy Sladden's arrest and criminal history, what TLC star vows to never do again. 1,000-pound sisters star Amy Sladden has a warning for young people about staying out of trouble after revealing she has a criminal record. Keep reading to find out details about Amy's arrest. Why was Amy Sladden arrested? Reality star, who is in her mid-30s, was busted for shoplifting a book from a local Walmart when she was in her early 20s. Amy detailed what happened in a YouTube video she posted in February 2017. It was 2010. I had a job, I had recently quit my job. My grandpa died and everything was going bad for me. I really wanted this book and I thought, well, I'm going to try to steal it, she explained. Amy revealed she put the book in her purse and when she walked out the door of the store, the security sensors went off. When an employee came over and asked Amy if she stole anything, she said no and allowed the person to search her purse. The employee found the book and Amy lied and said she purchased it at another store. After reviewing the security video, the worker saw the TLC star shoplift the book and called the police. Amy revealed that the Walmart employer told her that if she hadn't lied to him about stealing the book, he wouldn't have called the cops. If you would have told the truth I would have let you go with a warning, he told Amy, who admitted, I thought I was going to bawl like a baby when I was arrested. Was Amy Slatten jailed following her arrest? The reality star was taken to the local police station where she was fingerprinted and had her mugshot taken, as Amy joked, I was a lot skinnier then. She was held in the station's jail for two hours before her mom came and picked her up. Amy Sladden's Punishment for Shoplifting Amy went to court one month later and was ordered to pay a $400 fine, which included court fees. She noted that the price of the book she stole was only $8 and how the theft ended up costing her so much more than the item she shoplifted. Be advised if you are a little kid and you are watching this, there are consequences, Amy warned. The Kentucky native was banned from Walmart for two years as part of her punishment, which she said was hard because it was the only big store in her town. Does Amy Sladden regret her crime? I always learn from my mistakes and this was a big mistake and I've never done it again and I never will do it again, Amy said in the video, adding. We all have a past and we all learn from it and move on, and I don't think my past should be an issue. Amy shares two young sons with estranged husband Michael Halterman. Gage Dion was born in November 2020, while his younger brother, Glenn Allen, arrived in July 2022. Even though Amy wasn't a mom at the time she made the video, she had a message for children when it comes to theft and other crimes. I do not want little kids to go out and think it's okay to steal and get in trouble and stuff like that. I do not want that to happen. Please do not do the dumb things I did, I did stupid things when I was younger, Amy advised. 2. 1000 Pound Sisters Season 4 Episode 8 finally introduces fans to Tammy Slatten's now husband Caleb Willingham. In Forbidden Fruit, the rest of the Slatten family decides they're unfit to take care of Tammy and that she should stay in rehab, which doesn't go over well. Find out what else happened in the March 7th episode of 1000 Pound Sisters. The Slatens take Gage pumpkin picking in season 4 episode 8. Amy, Amanda, Chris, and Gage go to a pumpkin patch in Forbidden Fruit. Amy tells cameras Glenn and her husband Michael Halterman were hanging out together, then clarified, not really, he took him to his mom's. Amy mentioned her frustrations with her husband and managing two boys in a lot of cooks in the kitchen. In episode 8, Amy tells her siblings how she manages both boys at home. She takes care of Glenn while Michael takes care of Gage, but Amy still handles preparing Gage's food and bath water, among other things. The couple is reportedly separated, 
and Amy and her two children currently live with Tammy and her husband. Amy also confides in Amanda in Forbidden Fruit while they're getting a mud wrap massage. As she has done in the past, Amanda ensures her sister that she's a great mother to her two boys. Tammy's family refuses to take her out of rehab. After her successful weight loss surgery, Tammy is ready to be discharged from rehab. However, her family will need to help out once she gets home to maintain her tracheostomy tube. In 1000 Pound Sisters Season 4 Episode 8, Chris, Amy, Amanda, Misty, and their mother, Darlene, agree to leave Tammy in rehab until her trot is removed. Nobody here is trained to take care of you 24 hours a day or is able to, Chris explains to Tammy on a video call. I don't give a s, Tammy replies. I am not staying here. I'm not staying in another thing facility. Although she's frustrated, Tammy does stay in the rehab facility. After that call, Tammy has little contact with her family, though. Instead, Tammy focuses on a new connection. 1000 Pound Sisters cast adds Caleb Willingham to the mix. Season 4, Episode 8 finally introduces Tammy's now husband Caleb, whom she married in November 2022. Fans of the TLC series knew Tammy met her husband at the Windsor Lane Healthcare and Rehabilitation Center. She was living before and after her bariatric surgery but fans didn't know exactly how the couple's relationship started. Leb is someone I've been getting to know for the past couple weeks, Tammy says in the episode. Caleb's been here almost a year and he's just now starting to come out of his room because he had health issues. In a common area of the rehab, Caleb tells the other patients how Tammy saved his life. I was out of oxygen, sitting here in pain tears falling down my face, he said. And she got me help. It meant the world to me because you showed me kindness. Tammy inspired her husband to go to rehab. When Tammy asked what brought Caleb to the Windsor Rehab Facility specifically, Caleb said, you. He added, my best friend, his wife, she found some stuff on social media, not just about you but about this place in general. Just hearing about how well somebody's able to do. I said, hey, I can do this, too. The other Windsor residents called Galeb's actions stalker vibes. He justified his actions as research, and as Tammy told cameras, I ain't mad. Galeb proposes to Tammy in 1000 Pound Sisters Season 4 Episode 8. Tammy's relationship with Caleb unfolds quickly in Forbidden Fruit. The couple goes on a date and tells the cameras about their first kiss. Then, at the end of the episode, Caleb proposes in the rehab's parking lot after dating Tammy for three weeks. It's just been a short time, but I know without a doubt you are the most beautiful, amazing, wonderful person I've ever known, he says. Will you marry me? Tammy was left speechless but shook her head in agreement.